Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. This time, we're gonna do a breakdown on Grimmington's two and three quarter inch 12 gauge, 12 pellet of number zero buck. This should be 32 cal, although I'm pretty sure they use 32 cal for their double hot. I don't know, we'll figure out what payload this is and what pellet size they're actually using because I'm pretty sure that they might be using 32 cal for both their single and their double hot loads, but I don't know. If it's not 32 cal, well, it's probably 31 cal then. But today for a drink and snooze combo, Coke Zero and Odin's Loose. This is pretty much the worst I've ever had. And yes, it is like mud, like ammonia flavored mud. I don't mind the loose. I'll actually prefer it, but the taste is awful. I will say though, the Swedes do know how to make some pretty good stuff. But having a look at the box, this is nothing special, just Remington's regular green and yellow box. The side of it has our specs. Remington Buckshot, 12 gauge, 2 and 3 quarter inch, 1275 FPS, 12 pellets of single watt buck. Now, if this is 31 cal, it should be right at ounce and a quarter. If it's 32, it should be about 1 and 3 eighth ounces. If this was true double watt, 33 cal, it would be a 1 and a half ounce load. But we'll see. The back of the box is just a bunch of warnings and stuff if you want to read anything just pause it i recommended shot sizes for game we have deer and black bear on it are their shot sizes correct four buck 24 cal that's right number one 30 yep zero 32 double lot 33 and triple lot 36 yep that is all standard size and the last side of the box here is more warnings now, I think it's interesting that they mentioned not to put 20 gauge in 12 gauge. We all know that. But right here, middle of the screen, it is dangerous to place 12 gauge shells in 8 gauge guns. I think it's pretty interesting that they go out of their way to mention that. I think that if you own an 8 gauge, you're not going to accidentally drop a 12 gauge shell in it, but you never know. That's probably on there for a reason. In my head, I'm just thinking someone out there has been dumb enough to do that. So here's what the shell looks like. Regular Remington green, very high brass, steel. It is steel, but brass plated. Remington 209, overall a really good looking shell, but you'll notice no taper at all. And the crimp on this one is not the best. It is kind of swirly, uneven. It is deep set though, that's always good to see but it's not even even in the middle. We do have a slight pinhole and some waviness across the top. I will say guys, I really like Remington's Buckshot. These, if I remember right, I have opened one of these before, do not have a wad, but I can tell you at 30 yards with an extra full choke, around 680, 685, these do hold a very good pattern at 30. So I do like them. I thought for sure this was going to be 31 cal. No, guys, this is actually 32 cal. We actually have a right at 1 and 3 eighth ounce payload. With the buffer, it's going to be 1 and 3 eighth ounces. But we do have 12 pellets. Let's take a better look at them. They're not really all that round, to be honest. I can see just by looking at it that they're all kind of oblong a little bit, which is fine. And these are also soft lead. I have squished one of these before, and they do squish pretty easy. But um, pretty typical factory buckshot round here. Nothing special at all. The buckshot pellets look okay to me. With the buffer, it's actually more than 1 and 3 eighth ounces. It's 1.424. 1 and 3 eighth ounces is 1.38875. So again, a little bit more. For a charge, we have 27.2 of whatever this may be. More large flake black powder. Kind of looks like AS, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Well, let's take a better look at the powder. Yep, just more very large flake, not very dense powder that we've seen in a lot of factory shells. I would really like to know what this is. Now, this being a Remington Express hull, it is straight wall. As you can see, we have a yellow base wad, a low base wad. The primer is sticking up above it quite a bit. Very typical Remington Express hull, nothing special at all. I'm being stalked. Anyway, for a gas seal, we have, well, a quarter inch gas seal. It looks really cool. In person, this is actually 
really green. It's nice and vibrant. Like it's a lot more, you can tell on camera a little bit. It's a lot more vibrant neon green than what the hull is. Like in person, this looks like it's a it, radioactive. It's so green. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like it. Symmetrical. Pretty thin in the middle though. And for filler, we have 3 8 inch of a waxed hard card. I like these. They're a little bit more sturdy and durable than a fiber cushion. Not quite as nice as felt, but it is some pretty good material though. I like waxed hard cards. Now, let's see if I can put this back together and get a much nicer crimp than what it had out of the box. I think we can do it. And the answer to that was, of course, yes. The Lee Lodol in combination with a Rebastator. As you can see, well, it's still a little bit swirly, but the pinhole is pretty much closed up now. I know it looks like it's not, but it is. We have a little bit deeper set. It is completely flat in the middle and no more extreme waviness across the top. There is still a little bit, but nothing like it was. But again, no taper because I did not use a BN2 or any sort of, you know, taper crimp. But it looks a lot better than it did out of the box. And that's what matters to me. One more thing before I close this out. I opened up a nine pellet double lot from Remington way back in the day, like three or four years ago. And that had what weighed out to be 32 cal in it. This was obviously 32 cal. Are they using the same pellet size? I'm not sure. They might actually be using 33 cal now because they do also offer a 12 pellet double lot load. And that one, I wouldn't imagine they'd make the same load and just you know put it in two different boxes i wouldn't imagine they do that so they might actually be using 33 cal now or maybe i'm just remembering wrong they've always used 33 cal i don't know if any of you guys know or any grimmington employees watching this let me know but like i said i do really like these they do hold a very good pattern not a bad shell at all remington does make some pretty good ammo but that's gonna end this one here thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one